I'm at Splinter Hill today in Baldwin County, and uh, we're going to see how many different carnivorous plant we can find. This place is legendary for its white top habitat. Well, this is just off the main trail here. Obviously, Leucophila is the most prominent species. Down here, there's plenty of rosea too. Right here on the sides of the path. Hoping to find some wary eye. I've only ever found one here, and it was just random. But I want—I I think there's some bigger clumps somewhere. Here's our next species of carnivorous plant. This is Drosera tracei. It looks a little different from the ones back in Mississippi. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It almost looks fuzzier. Here's some really nice red plants here. These are probably a back cross with some of those rosea. Or they have some rosea in them, probably. Right there. There's a sure enough Leucophila rosea hybrid. Bunch of pure rosea here in the grass. Here's some nice ones. Here's our next species of carnivorous plant here, Cyrocinia citacina. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of these once we get down where it's wetter. We have some Drosera intermedia here out by this creek. It's a little light deprived, but they're still pretty big. All right, I've been walking for a while now, and uh, I finally got into the species I wanted to see out here. It's gotta be my favorite species, Saracenia in general. Not many in this one spot, but I'm sure I can find some more. It's nice to see a population that doesn't get bush hogged all the time. Because these look healthy. These are probably the biggest ones I've seen yet. Still maybe a little over a foot tall though. Yeah, these definitely look different from the ones over there towards uh, Mississippi. All these seem to be more orange and consistent with how they look. And the wavy lids. 